The Grounded Mistlands update is here and I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about resources. I'm sure you can go into cheat mode and see everything there is to craft and maybe play around with it. But to get this stuff legit, what do you need to know? Let's go. So maybe the most important thing first, wisps. You're going to need to collect these by crafting a wisp fountain. To craft that, you're going to need the drop that you got from defeating Yagalov. Then you can simply craft the wisp fountain at a stone cutter, put it outside and at night time you can collect wisps. The wisps are used in a few different things, but most of all, you want to go ahead and use it to get a wisp light to help guide you through the mistlands. You'll come across these ancient armor pieces scattered all across the land, as well as giant swords. If you harvest them with the brand new black axe pick, you'll get a ton of iron scraps for your trouble. You'll come across excavation sites with putrefied bone. This is actually the black marble. It's the only way that you can get it other than maybe finding a few pieces in some of the dungeons that you might be able to break open. Inside you'll also find the soft flesh or soft tissue. This is also needed to help power your refinery so that you can start crafting ether, the magic that you're going to be using in Valheim. Both of these do need, again, the black pick to break them open. You can also get drops of soft tissue from killing some of the Verger Dwarves that you'll find in these encampments. If you break open all of the boxes and stuff you find in here, you've got a chance to get scraps of copper and also, more importantly, you'll get the extractor from one of the construction chests. The extractor is needed to go ahead and get a sap from the Idrisil trees. Place it in the Idrisil wood, leave it for a while and it will extract some of the sap. The Seekers are the brand new enemy type in Mistlands, and when you kill them, they're going to drop something called Carapace. Now, Carapace again is used in a whole variety of stuff, including the brand new armor set, Carapace arrows, bolts, and more. You'll also get Seeker meat from killing these guys as well, which you'll need for a whole bunch of recipes. If you find some soldier Seekers, then you will get mandibles when you kill these guys, which I think are mainly used for weapons. The infested mines are where you're going to find the black cores, as well as some chests involving treasure. But look out especially for something called seal fragments. The seal fragments are what you're going to need to take on the final boss in the Mistlands. You'll need nine of them. The other major resource you'll find is royal jelly inside the mines. And there's loads of eggs as well, but you don't want to disturb them, as that's going to bring on the seeker brood, the baby versions. You might want to think about crafting the new traps to get hold of some of these guys. The hairs are super, super quick, so take advantage when they come close and nab them. This is how you're going to get the brand new hair meat as well as the scale hide. If you're looking for the brand new Idrisil wood, you're going to have to chop down the shoots. Sometimes you get some from the smaller, but I would aim for the larger ones as that's your best chance of getting some, as long as you don't get your face ripped off by these ones. If you see any kind of blue glow in the mist, make sure you run towards it. It might be some of the new mage caps. Just like other seeds that you can find in some of the biomes, you will not be able to grow this anywhere else but the mistlands. That, of course, also applies to the puffballs that you'll find. Another ingredient you're going to need for much better meals. Now, you might have seen the flying enemies in the trailer. These guys spit a vomit that makes you on fire, as well as dropping the ticks. They're called gals, I do believe, if I said it right. And obviously the ticks are pretty dangerous. They'll suck your health away if they manage to attach. Killing them and you'll get some of the blood clots. And very occasionally you should get blood bags, I think, if they actually bite you too. Killing the gal and it will drop a whole bunch of bile. Again, another crafting ingredient you're going to need. Now you might see some recipes require eggs. You can get these from the trader once you've defeated Yagala for 1500 coins. Shout out to Erica for that one. Just to revisit obviously how you get the ether. Well, yes, once you've put your sap from the Idrisil tree inside your refinery, you then have to power it by feeding it some of the soft tissue that I mentioned earlier. Now, of course, there's a whole bunch of new fish added to the game as well as bait, but I'm going to put that in a separate video as it's much more concentrated. I'm going to talk about fishing and all the stuff that you can get from it. But I do believe that is it. That is all of the major resources, pretty much all the new stuff, how to get them or give you some clues about what to kill and where to look. Hope that's helpful. If it is, do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for the best in Valheim gameplay guides and news. And I'll see you right back some more very soon. Bye-bye.